was a close call. I'm telling you, like the drone was landing and I was literally running through a park to try to meet it. I had no idea where it was landing. It was dark. I couldn't see anything. And it was, this is it just doing its own little thing, coming back home. I usually manually land the drone, but that time I completely lost it. But let's talk about the Nike Air Jordan Low in Travis Scott Golf. And for some weird reason, I thought when these were first brought up that the bottom was going to be like an actual golf sneaker, like a golf shoe, because they've done that before. They made lows with the actual golf spikes on the bottom but they don't and that's okay because when i was looking at these i was like you know what if they're wearable i kind of i kind of like those like the neon green that's that's an interesting that's an interesting touch they just kind of threw on it is the low played out at this point i don't think so but i don't think they're cleaner than these like i had to go back and look at these i don't think they're nicer than these but they are really really nice like it's a very close colorway they threw it off by putting that black swoosh on that side i always think the medial side looks better but it's an interesting color this is supposed to be like an, an another olive type color and it's got some transitional suede for you guys that are into that i'm into that but again they have the golf on the tongue they give it that golf look and for some reason i just like the simple execution of the shoe and I actually thought that they were done with the, the Travis Scott Jordan Lowe's, which I'm not mad that they're bringing them back. They're really nice. I just thought they were done. What is that, a sad face on the back? And as always, they always give you like four sets of laces. These were the sails, and I thought the sails looked good. The sails are not in the shoe right now, but I'll probably, that looks really good. I'll probably leave the sails in the shoe if I do end up keeping these. But right now they got the black laces in them. It's not a, it's not a bad look. The black laces were cool. Let's take a look at those really quick. And they give you that kind of contrast. It looks good. I just, well, you know what? I might keep the black laces in. I don't know. What's next? The brown? Brown was cool. I had to, like, take my daughter to a dentist appointment that morning. So I was like, let me get some footage. The footage kind of looks out of whack from the other stuff, but it is what it is. The green, or the, I don't know what they're calling this, like the neon olive. Neon olive actually probably looks the best. And if I had these in there, I'd probably just leave them in. I know even though the laces are neon green and all that, but just for some reason they work even on a casual level. I don't, I don't know, just maybe because the green little accents on them. I don't know. They look good. I mean, to be honest, all the laces actually look good no matter which one you pick. I mean, the brown looks good too. I mean, yeah, I probably end up with the sale though. I always go with either the sale or the black, but I'm still not mad at the, the neon olive green, whatever that is. The insides look like this. They got golf on them. More of the neon and olive combination. That's some plain old ortholite. I went with the size 10. So I went a half size up. And I figured, I don't, I've been doing this in dunks. And I figured they would fit a little better. And they were actually a little big. I should have went with a 9.5. So I kind of creased these up a little more than I wanted to. And that, that's a nice bottom. I think that bottom sets these apart from all the other lows. And they don't feel any different when you're walking outside. I don't know about indoor, like on a basketball court, because Jordan 1s are actually pretty good on a basketball court. But just walking in these compared to all the other pairs of the lows, these didn't really feel that different just kind of walking around on them. But I do wish I stuck with the 9.5. I'm still going to stick with 10 in low top dunks, but Jordan's I'm still going to go with 9.5. Under the black light, I couldn't find anything, which is always a good sign, which means good craftsmanship. They are paying attention to detail and getting all the markings off because every shoe goes through that process overall i give the shoe probably about an eight out of ten i do like them they they go good pretty casual and uh i'll probably end up with another pair come release date which i think is october 13th for 170 bucks that's not bad i'm gonna try to hit on them but i'll probably review another pair closer to that maybe not who knows but you guys tell me if you do like the shoe is this one for you where does this rank in all the travis lows i'm still sticking with the the first ones as number one and the second one would probably be the reverse mochas i'm not sure about third i have to really look at them all and just kind of pick one but i do like them eight out of ten i got like 10 more reviews coming up so you make sure that you follow me on instagram and keep watching the videos peace yeah.